In our modern, fast-changing world, there are many conditions out there with many side effects, but some of those side effects are surprisingly close to superpowers. So are we closer to a real-life X-Men situation than we think? I love the cold. I hope not. Those guys are very destructive. From a unique condition that can transform people into the Hulk to a condition that creates geniuses. Let's take a look at 15 rare diseases that give people superhero-like abilities. <laughs> Number 15. Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy. It's long been claimed that superheroes and superpowers couldn't possibly exist in our world while prepare to be proven wrong. Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy is a very real condition, and it is known to make people, well, Hulkified. That's Marvel's Hulk, not Hulk Hogan. That's a different condition, brother. This rare genetic condition is typically recognized by reduced body fat and increased skeletal muscle size, which basically means that people with the condition have up to twice the typical amount of muscle. Of course, that means that you can, in theory, be born a Bruce Banner and spend the rest of your life a Hulk, and naturally having more muscle also means you may well be stronger than the average non hulked out human being, which is kind of amazing. One four-year-old child with the condition was actually measured to have around 40% body muscle, which is an unbelievable figure for a child his age. But you know what's up to the bar? Whoa! Turn your legs over! Myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy is certainly an unusual condition, but it does just go to prove that some people in our society can and do have superpowers. I just haven't shown mine yet, because I'm shy, obviously. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Savant Syndrome Do you ever wish you could just learn something in an instant? Anything. Piano, Mandarin, how to read a book while surfing. Some people can actually do this. Savant Syndrome is a unique condition that turns people into geniuses capable of remembering, well, anything. Savant Syndrome is a rare condition that predominantly afflicts people with significant mental disabilities. And like many conditions, it affects everyone very differently. Some savants may be incredibly mathematically gifted and able to answer complex equations instantly, while others may have unbelievable artistic abilities rivaling the great painters. One notable savant, Kim Peek, has such an impressive memory that he could accurately recall the contents of over 12,000 books. And to think most of us can't even remember what day of the week it is. Maybe these savants are just average humans and the rest of us are insanely stupid? Possible. While they may be incredibly talented and super powered, it's worth noting that most people who develop savant syndrome have significant problems elsewhere. Many of these people are autistic or have have brain damage, but none of that really changes the fact that these people are incredibly, unbelievably smart, and they should be incredibly proud of their abilities. Number 13. Congenital Analgesia what would you do with your life if you discovered that you couldn't feel pain? That's a question that people with congenital analgesia have to consider every day. Well, not every day, but some days. Okay, they may have considered it once in their lives. Just let me get through this. Congenital analgesia is a condition that inhibits a person's ability to perceive physical pain. I know. They're just born without the ability to recognize any kind of pain. But while that may sound appealing to those of us that are unstoppably clumsy, there's a downside to having such an impressive superpower. While they can feel the difference between, say, hot and cold or dull and sharp, they can't feel when it's actually causing harm. And what do you feel? Cold. Cold. <laughs> Just cold. Just cold. So if they were to accidentally stab themselves, they wouldn't feel the pain, but they'd still be physically harmed, possibly to the point of death. Congenital analgesia is a pretty fascinating condition. There's no other way of looking at it. But like all superpowered conditions, it definitely comes with a few downsides, and not being able to tell when you've been stabbed is undoubtedly a downside. Number 12. X-ray vision. 
Along with flight, invisibility, and mind-reading powers, X-ray vision is one of the most wished-for superpowers by the general public. But one Russian woman actually claims to be able to do it, and she seems to have convinced, well, everybody. Natalia Natasha Demkina claims that, since childhood, she's been able to see into the human body. According to her, she can see organs, tissues, and can even diagnose medical conditions on site. Her abilities have become so popular among locals that she's even been hired by medical professionals to perform medical readings throughout Russia, which doesn't say a lot about the Russian medical community. To be successful at the test, she has to uh, score five. Since 2006, she's worked for the Center of Special Diagnostics, a facility designed to diagnose and treat illness with the cooperation of experts possessing unusual abilities, which sounds like Russian code for the X-Men, but doctors. In order to verify Demkina's many claims, one children's hospital gave her a test. To their shock and awe, Demkina accurately drew a picture of what she saw inside a doctor's stomach and even marked the exact place where he had an ulcer. She was right. I guess you can't argue with the facts or drawings. Number 11. Super Sleeper Syndrome Look, everybody has things we want to do, but the age-old saying still stands true. There aren't enough hours in the day. Unless, of course, you have the super sleeper mutation. Sadly, most of us don't, but just in case you don't know what this mutation is, grab a cup of joe and I'll explain. While most of us have to get around 8 hours of sleep on average to feel even slightly awake, HDEC2, also known as the super sleeper mutation, is a rare condition that allows people to feel refreshed with just four hours of sleep. Short sleepers, as they're known, rarely need more than six hours of sleep every night and can be just as energized, if not more so than people who spend their whole night sleeping. I'd say that's a superpower, right? These people are apparently out there, though I've never met them. One Vietnamese man claims that he hasn't slept in 45 years, which sounds kind of ludicrous, but he describes himself as a plant without water. Due to his long sleepless night, so maybe he's telling the truth. I feel like that if I miss an hour of sleep. Number 10. Hypohydrotic Ectodermal Dysplasia What if vampires aren't the villains we've all concluded that they are? Maybe there's a medical condition that could back up some of the less bloodthirsty traits. Well, surprise, surprise, there is hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia. I await your apology. This disorder typically results in the abnormal development of otherwise typical human structures, including skin, hair, nails, teeth, and sweat glands. Or it's basically like baby hair. It's, it really is like the consistency of... If you're wondering what this has to do with vampires, let me explain. They're afraid of sunlight, they have incredibly sharp teeth, they're white as a sheet. Am I talking about vampires or people with hypohydrotic ectodermal dysplasia? Both. People with this condition tend to end up looking like vampires, with absent or malformed teeth and fewer sweat glands than normal, leading to a hypersensitive skin condition that means they can't leave the house without sunscreen and protective gear. It's a tough, tough condition condition to live with. Still, some people, including members of the British royal family, will be impressed by or relate to the inability to sweat. But for those with the condition, this superpower can be something of a hindrance. I guess even vampires cry. My god, that's poetry. Number 9. Stone Man Syndrome it's becoming increasingly apparent throughout our video that superpowers are kinda everywhere. But some superpowers just aren't quite so appealing. Like for instance, being the thing in the Fantastic Four. A body made of rocks. How does digestion work? Stone Man Syndrome, or fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, if you're nasty, is an extremely rare genetic cognitive tissue disease that lasts forever. This condition causes damaged soft tissue to regrow as bone, and often fuses joints together, making it incredibly difficult for people to move their body, not unlike the big rock man in the comic book. While the condition is relatively rare, with only 1 in 2 million getting it on average, there's no cure for it. Um, or even something as little as a paper cut can trigger 
new bone to form. Even if you surgically have the extra growths removed, your body will simply replace the now cleared section with more bone. It's less a superpower and more just a straight up attack on your body. However, if we are going to consider this unique condition a superpower, it's really not a power you'd want. This is kind of a nightmare scenario actually. Let's just continue wishing for more invisibility and less Rockman, shall we? Number 8. Hyperthymasia as much as we may wish we did, most of us don't have great memories. In fact, most of us can barely remember what day it is. But just imagine for a second the things you could achieve if you had an unbelievable memory. Well, some people do. People with hyperthymesia have an impressive, if slightly overwhelming ability. They can remember every single thing. Everything. Their memory is so impressive that they can recall pretty much every single day of their lives in remarkable detail. You know, so it starts to come in. Uh, my first date with a boyfriend was August the 12th. Going all the way back to childhood. Meanwhile, I'm here trying to remember what I just said. Of course, every superpower comes with a downside, and here we have a pretty big one. Being able to remember every single day of your life also includes the bad days, the bad memories, and all the things we'd rather forget. Maybe we should be grateful we can't remember last week. Along with those bad memories, people with hyperthymesia also suffer constant headaches and fatigue. Come to think of it, maybe I'm okay with my completely useless memory. I'll forget about the whole thing in five minutes anyway. Number 7. Polymelia have you ever wished you had another pair of hands? Or that you were the human equivalent of an octopus? No? Well, you're probably normal, but yes, multi-limbed humans are very much a real thing, thanks to a condition called polymelia. Polymelia, also known as Hydra syndrome, is a birth defect in which babies are born with extra limbs. It could be extra fingers, extra legs, it really varies from person to person. However, we're once again looking at another downside to this incredible power. On my way to see the doctor, it's fine. This is the big one, and this is the one right before. The limbs are, on average, shrunken, deformed, or both. And the limbs themselves aren't always functional. In fact, they're pretty useless in most cases, and often end up as something of a hindrance. Oh, and we should probably add that. Yes, a human can be born with more than one genitalia. I have no comment on how I feel about that. So ultimately, it's up to you to decide if Hydra Syndrome is good or bad, but it definitely seems like the downsides outweigh the upsides. Although I imagine many couples Couples are now wishing their partner had it. Uh, again, I have no comment on that. Number 6. ACTN3 Variant we all have the ACTN3 gene, so let's just acknowledge that up front. However, that doesn't mean that you're a superhero. Sorry to break the news. However, some of us have a unique variant that can, in fact, give us super-powered abilities. Do you have it? Probably not. We'll see. As it turns out, certain variants of ACTN3 can help our bodies make a special protein known as alpha-acanin-3, a protein that controls the tensing and flexing of muscle fibers used in sprint or weightlifting. In 2008, geneticists studying successful sprinters and power athletes made a surprising discovery. They found that very few of these incredible athletes had two defective copies of ACTN3. They had the super sprinter variant, making them incredibly and genetically fast. Unfortunately for the rest of us, we are probably not so lucky. 18% of the general population are totally deficient in that variant, bearing two defective copies of ACTN3. And three. That's right, I have been robbed of a career in athletics. Even if you are, like me, have been denied the opportunity to be on the side of a cereal box, this is a pretty fascinating genetic variant. Who'd have thought that running is in our genes? Not me, because I don't have the variant, and I'm mad. Number 5. LRP5 Variant Bones, we all have them. We all think they're kinda weird. We all feel gross when we see them. But of course, some people have different bone densities, and all of that comes back to that old classic, genetics. Like pretty much everything in our bodies, our bone mineral density is regulated by one gene, LRP5. This single gene dictates how our bones will be. Some variants and mutations have led to brittle, weak bones, and osteoporosis syndrome. But what about 
the other way. Is it possible that the LRP5 gene could have a variant that makes bones denser? Yes, in fact, there is likely an LRP5 variant that could make the bones so dense and thick that they're practically unbreakable. In which case, you could become Batman, and you'd only have to worry about bullets, explosions, falling debris, speeding vehicles, falling from a great height, getting stabbed, getting burned, drowning, dying of asphyxiation, or electrocution. But you could take a punch, no problem. The LRP5's unbreakable mutation is easily one of the most surprising and unexpected scientific discoveries for my money. Who'd have thought that a human could truly be unbreakable? Again, assuming you don't suffer any of the fates I just listed. Number 4. Synesthesia Imagine for a moment what it would be like if you could see something more than what was actually there. I don't mean you would be imagining, say, floating unicorns, although it could mean that. Synesthesia is a unique and fascinating condition that brings people unique new perceptions of what they see. Here's the problem with discussing synesthesia. It's impossible to define. There are so many different variants on this unique condition that it's impossible to give a one-size-fits-all definition. For some, synesthesia can be seeing colors when you hear music. For others, it's seeing years at different depths. For instance, 1980 would be farther than 2010. It's also widely variant and different that you just can't define it. However, it is a real condition, and the synesthetic associations can occur in any number of senses and with any kind of trigger. To try and sum up as simply as possible, synesthesia is simply what happens when one sense is stimulated because another has been stimulated. Either way, Way, it seems like it's a pretty fascinating condition for those that have been diagnosed with synesthesia. Number 3. TAS2R38 Variant once again, we return to what Marvel Comics have always told us about superpowers. It's in the genes. In the case of TAS2R38, it's a superpower that would fit less in, say, the Avengers and more in Ratatouille. Yes, this is basically Marvel's Ratatouille. TAS2R38 is the bitter taste receptor gene, something that all of us have in our DNA. However, we're looking at one unique variant of the gene that completely changes his life for those with it, the Super Taster variant. Those with the TAS2R38 variant are believed to experience and taste food far more intensely than those who don't have it. As a result, they're more likely to add milk and sugar to their coffee, or avoid overly fatty foods purely because their genetics amplify certain flavors. So I guess what I'm saying is that, yes, Remy probably would have had this gene had he not been a rat. Or a cartoon. So do you have the Super Taster variant? variant, there's really no way of knowing unless you were to have a detailed DNA test. But at least we've learned that your DNA has significant input on your food taste. I'll enjoy pizza even more now. Number 2. Insensitivity to Cold Apparently, it's true. We've all been wasting our time freezing and paying to heat our house when we could have just been unfazed by the cold. Some people in the world are actually just genetically predisposed to live like polar bears. I don't know, man, the world is weird. While it may not be a disease, so to speak, some people are just genetically insensitive to extreme cold. That's definitely a superpower, in my opinion. And just to prove that they're telling the truth, look no farther than Wim Hof of the Netherlands. Netherlands. Hoff is a celebrity in his homeland for his seemingly unchillable body. At present, Hoff holds a whopping 26 world records, including one for the longest ice bath. That bath in question lasted an unbelievable 72 minutes. I can practically hear my body saying, absolutely not. It must be a pretty wonderful thing to be immune to the cold, especially if you live somewhere especially vulnerable to chill. If I could withstand freezing temperatures for 72 minutes, I would absolutely absolutely consider that a superpower. Hell, it would probably be my whole personality. Number 1. Night Vision Boy now, feel free to dispute this if you really wanna, but one young boy claims that he can see in the dark. Is he telling the truth? That's up to you to decide, but just look in his eyes and yeah, it's possible. Nong Yusui claims that he was born with a genetic condition that allows his eyes to see in the dark, poorly lit conditions. According to reporters who visited him, Nong was able to fill in a whole questionnaire in a pitch black room, which seems like pretty indisputable evidence. Scientists have since begun looking into the possibility 
possibility of whether or not humans could actually have night vision. But the evidence really does seem to back it up. It's entirely possible. And given that he managed to fill in the questionnaire as he did, I think we should find him a spot on the X-Men. Actually, that'd be kinda boring. He'd just stand in the corner and say where everyone is. Regardless of his super heroic alliance, Nong is clearly a rare and very unique young man. But what do you think? Is he telling the truth about his unique cat eyes? Or is he just making the whole thing up for some very niche attention. Either way, it works for me. I can't look away with my bland daylight eyes. If you absolutely had to have one of these superpowers, which one would you have? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!